Hey folks, this is SJ and welcome to the aftermath of the time lapse I have completed a few weeks back. Uh, basically, I just wanted to do an overworld view to see what happened during the time. So we're on the last auto save in January 1935, the second, since I have activated the uh, fog of war cheat so we can actually see what's going on. And right now we are the first world power, the United States of America. So let's go see what's going on in the North American continent. Okay, so we can see here, first thing that strikes is Mexico still has a state. Hmm, a bit weird. We don't see that all often, but we can see Mexico is actually in the sphere of the US. So that means they won't attack them. But uh, yeah, kind of a bit weird. They, they left them a, a state in the middle of nowhere and uh, a very low population state though yeah I guess they found it kind of useless uh, otherwise you also have British Canada with uh, Newfoundland a pretty standard straightforward uh, do, do they have caribou? no the US has caribou yeah a pretty straightforward Canada with uh, oh some territory still owned by the Russians here the Russian USA funny very funny so Russia still has Alaska, that's kind of good for them. Uh, Mexico looks nice. Uh, Cuba is still under Spanish control. Haiti has been overrun by <laughs> rebels. Ah, how lovely. And uh, otherwise here it all seems normal, you know. Uh, USCA is good. Mexico is getting overrun by rebels as usual. And let's take a peek into South America. All right, so we have Colombia that actually did a very good game. As you can see, they have captured large swaths of Venezuela, uh, split that with Brazil, and they also capture Ecuador. And that's very good for Colombia. Another thing that's a bit weird, nobody has built the Panama Canal. We don't see that all often. Usually, uh, the Panama Canal gets built fairly quickly but 1935 still not built eh, a little bit strange so let's move on to Peru Peru actually looks pretty standard I don't think they have lost any territories maybe to Brazil uh, Brazil itself looks very huge and powerful they, they took over Venezuela uh, some here it's a real mess look at that Okay, we'll take that after. Uh, here we have in Guyana, the Dutch, the French, and the English. Rest of Caribbean still look nice and easy. Uh, Bolivia has a good land mass. A bit weird, the separation here. Argentina did get rolled over by everybody. Seems like Paraguay took a chunk, Brazil took a chunk, Bolivia took a chunk. Child, <laughs> Child actually ate almost all of the country that's a bit surprising they, they got a very strong game Argentina almost nothing a lot of fascists that's a bit weird uh, otherwise South America we really have Brazil that's strong Colombia that's strong a very strong country Chile is also strong uh, as well for North America USA Canada Mexico Denmark still owning uh, Groenland and Iceland so that's pretty standard uh, a kind of standard except uh, for the few exceptions and uh, yeah kind of standard North America except for that but uh, South America is very 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 strange must have been bloody wars going on all over the place all the time frightening okay so let's move into Africa so we can see Morocco got Eden by Spain, Algeria is still standing strong as well as Tunis. Uh, we kind of rarely see that late game, usually they get eaten by someone and it's over. Uh, Ottoman Empire is still a bit strong. Uh, Suez Canal has been built by France. Egypt is still standing, Ethiopia is still standing. Uh, the Italian colonized most of Western Northern Africa while the Dutch split half of the land with them and the Ottoman, Af Ottoman Africa is actually pretty damn huge you know, and they took a lot of land uh, Portuguese Africa is, looks normal maybe a little bit of expansion here in the Boer states 
orange is still standing. That's that's uh that's kind of cool. Usually they, they disappeared for no good reason. And British out of Africa actually had a small expansion. So yeah, uh, for Africa it's oh, and we have some land not colonized yet in uh, Liberia. That's that's awkward. But yeah, otherwise Sokoto is still standing. Uh, if we look at the status, we have uh, these two states that are a bit surprised that they're still present. So is Sokoto, but uh, Ethiopia and Egypt se seems kind of strong for the time. Uh, Madagascar is still standing too. That's a bit weird too. Usually they get eaten by the French or someone with imperialistic ambitions. But otherwise... Uh, a very weird Africa, I must say. Italian, Dutch, and Ottoman splitting it. We don't see that all often. Uh, I guess they had too much problem in Europe, but we will eventually get there and see what happened in Europe. So let's move into Arabian Peninsula. Okay, so we can see that is a big surprise. Arabia actually formed. So they form, they, they also add Omen because they have their colonies on the African eastern coast. But uh, yeah, they got eaten by Netherlands, Spain and French. So they lost a lot of territories, but they, they still have a pretty strong core here. They don't really have any military power or anything going for them. So they're a low ranked country, but still civilized. The first thing that surprised me is that they they, they form. I, I never seen that in the game before, I believe. Usually they just get eaten and they never form. Uh, I believe Nedge capture Edge as form and then use their free cores to capture the rest. And then it's a story. They just became a small little country on the peninsula surrounded by great powers. Okay, so let's move a little bit into Central Asia. So we have Persia who lost massive amounts of territory to the UK. Hmm, that's not good for Persia. But they're still number 22 in civilized in the UK sphere. So that's kind of good for them. Uh, Ottoman still holds very strong in all of the region here. So they still have Iraq, uh, Anatolia. All the Levant, it's still under their control. So they, we had a very strong Ottoman uh, empire in this game. Afghanistan did very well. They expand north and uh, I believe they expand into Punjab too. So that's very good for them. And the rest of the little states here all got eaten by Russia, which is very standard. Okay, so let's move into India. So British India, uh, everything seems fine. We can see a few countries that seems to have gotten out of this, the, the puppet states of British India. But uh, I think that's really surprising. Yeah. As soon as there's any kind of rebellions in these, they just get split apart. And uh, Brit the British usually don't care. They, they don't care about the partially Western Jodhpur with a 21 military score. It's not like... It's really important for them to get it. Usually they do capture Punjab, but right now we can see Punjab is actually being captured by the uh, uh, directions fair with China and they're getting uh, some uh, rebels all over the place. So that's pretty much it for India. Uh, looks, looks normal, nothing surprising. So let's move into Indochina. So we have China that actually ate all over they yet. Uh, Burma is strong. They got Laos, part of Siam. Very strong Burma. A bit surprising here. They're number 26 civilized nation. They're, they're very powerful. Seems like the British had more better worries than that. Uh, Siam looks kind of squished out. Uh, probably exhaust from everything. Uh, well, there's still some land, but uh, nothing really valuable. Yeah, poor them. Poor CM. And Cambodia is uh, in sphere of China. Yeah, pretty normal Cambodia, nothing special there. Really what is impressive in the end of China is uh, China just eating up Daviet uh, and British not doing really anything. As well as Burma being so powerful. 
quite impressive and we still have a Jor who formed Kotabaran, Kotabaru, whatever, Republic there. Uh, we rarely see that. Actually, uh, I think the flags have been changed by a uh, map mode I have. Uh, so does the name. But uh, I've never seen that country before. I don't even think it's in the, the Vanilla game. Uh, we still have the small UK docks. That's all normal. Uh, so let's move into Indonesia. So it seems normal. The, the Dutch have all their islands. Uh, it seems to have colonized very strongly over here. So yeah, the Dutch had actually a good game. They colonized in Africa, colonized in Asia. Uh, Span the Spain, Spain, Spanish, the Spanish still holds on the Philippines. So that's good for them. Brunei is still there. Another satellite of the Netherlands. They're civilized. So it looks like a good game for them too. But really the, the Dutch are very powerful. And they're number six, so they, they actually had a very successful, good and great game for them. So let's see what's going on with Australia. Uh, number 20, pretty normal. Nothing unusual. New Zealand's there. All's normal. Japan got some islands over here. Lots of islands for Japans. And I can't even click them, too many islands. Is that is that someone here? Uh, who are you? Oh, it's the US. <laughs> okay, so the US colonized a bit the islands in the Pacific. Hawaii is owned by the US. Yeah, pretty normal here. No not, no big surprise. Who's that? Spain actually got Bannon Islands. Alright, so let's move on to Japan. Hmm. Strong, powerful Japan took over Korea. Uh, not, not unusual. But it's a bit weird, in 1935 they're still in power, especially considering China is there with their mighty military power. Oh well, yeah, Japan is, is pretty strong military-wise. So no surprise China didn't want to fuck around with them. I'm, I'm sorry for that word, but I don't know how to say it otherwise. And for China itself, a big, big, beautiful China. A proletarian dictator dictatorship. Uh, kind of usual, uh, strong military, strong industrial, very little prestige, so a pretty straightforward standard China. I believe they captured some land in the west, uh, of course they captured Dave yet, uh, maybe some lands here too, I don't exactly remember how it is. Uh, seems like a pretty good game for them. So that's it for China, let's move into Europe now. Alright, so here's the big surprise in Europe. Uh, we actually have France who had a very, very bad and terrible game. Uh, seriously, they lost territory to the Netherlands, who had an exceptionally good game. Uh, Italy took over some land, they actually lost a part and then Sardinia PMO left them <laughs> to reform. So that's a bit unusual, but uh, otherwise, no, yeah, it's a very, 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 very bad game for France. Uh, they did capture some part of Switzerland, seems like, yeah, Switzerland completely gone, split between France and Austria, a uh, bit sad, poor, Aus poor Switzerland. Uh, France also captured Catalonia, which is not something we see all that often. Otherwise, for Spain and Portugal, they seem to have very straightforward and normal territory except for Catalonia. Uh, Spain also captured Morocco and uh, some part, of, a little part of Algeria is owned by France. So that's uh, pretty normal at that level. But yeah, big, big, big loss for France here and big victory for, for uh, Netherlands. Very strong Netherlands, it's very impressive. Uh, we have Luxembourg that still stands. That's uh, <laughs> a proletarian dictatorship. That's a bit weird. And uh, another big surprise I have here is somebody freed Prussia. Like seriously, somebody fought off North German Federation and said, "No, you you you're gonna free Prussia," and they they did it. They freed Prussia. So Prussia exists. They're allied with Austria. Very weird. I don't know if they could reform 
the North German Federation if they I don't know it's I never seen that before in any game I've played I uh, usually once Prussia formed North German Federation they never leave it but now no no they got their own little piece of land a bit unusual uh, otherwise we have uh, of course Wittenberg very strong Wittenberg and Bavaria oh a facious Bavaria that's a bit weird uh, they still stand uh, North Germany wasn't able to form Germany uh, there's also oh there's a little part of North Germany here but otherwise Wittenberg captured Baden and uh, seems to have a good game for them and we also have Austria who had a very good game too they actually captured some parts over here uh, they kept the territories here last year I believe yeah Moravia Schlesen they lost a huge chunk of territories over here but still very strong very strong industry industrial power compared to Germany or France so they're definitely a, a power in Europe yeah it seems like nobody can can really do anything on industrial level of course military is very terrible I believe they probably just got out of a war which would explain the terrible score but yeah very strong Austria very good game for them uh, Krakow still stand that's that's a bit mysterious uh, very good game for Krakow just to keep existing <laughs> I don't know what else to say just seeing Krakow on the map as a HMS government is very very strange I, I don't know what to say about that and now let's see about Russia uh, Russia beautiful Russia very strong uh, of course they captured in Central Asia they probably colonized over here yeah they had some colonization they have Alas parts of Alaska a very good game for Russia too uh, they end up secondary power just barely under just 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 barely under uh, the eight position for great power a bit sad for them but hey that they, they, they still did good uh, one major thing that surprised me is that they did not fail to revolutionary Bolsheviks trying to put uh, Soviet Union they kept a Prussian constitutionalist a bit a bit unusual too but uh, good very strong meteor power uh, standard and show power a good game for Russia too okay and Sweden Sweden looks pretty straightforward as normal uh, no big surprise here they they survive they didn't get annexed by everybody anyone their 13th position in the world uh, not too bad for them Denmark actually got it got a short end very poor industrial, industrial score as well as military score they still hold into Iceland and Denmark but yeah pretty terrible they lost uh, all of Kiel uh, for the how do you call it Olstein here yeah is it Olstein I don't correct me if I'm wrong I think something like that so yeah poor Denmark very poor game at that level uh, Netherlands itself very 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 powerful Netherlands as I keep saying since the beginning uh, they actually conquer Champagne from France they conquer Belgium and also in Africa they had very vast uh, colonization here as well as in uh, South uh, and Indo how do you call it Indonesia's yeah here in the little Asian islands very strong colonization uh, a so-so industrial score they're still seventh a very good military score for them that's actually pretty impressive I uh, don't believe I've ever seen the Netherlands so strong in any other game they're really dominating a very good game for them and of course we have the UK uh, the UK pretty normal straightforward looking it's an island nobody can conquer that it's an island that's what I keep always saying when I see them uh, they're number two in the world a uh, very powerful industrial power and military that's to be expected as the UK uh, for the colonies they have all of South Africa here uh, 
pretty poor colonization of Africa on their part but uh, India it looks pretty straightforward as usual but they got a big chunk of Persia which is very good for them as well as here the little part of Siam and some little ports in uh, Malaya but otherwise yeah it's a uh, a pretty normal game for the UK. It, worse than that, I'll say, yeah, it's kind of weird. The very weird, but no, it's it's normal game for them. If you lose it's the UK, there's there's a huge, 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 huge problem. So let's take a quick peek at the rankings. Uh, the great powers. We have the number one, the USA. So very strong uh, industrial power. But so so prestige and military uh, the UK actually pretty strong everywhere except for industrial just barely well a lot under the US but everything else so powerful I, I'm almost surprised you, you see a score difference between these two yeah it's pretty pretty close game between them both of them played very good games uh, the US dominated all of North America except you know for the whole, the whole chunk of land that was left to Mexico and uh, otherwise in the Pacific they have led very very good camping with the colonization getting a lot of islands uh, the UK pretty standard game nothing surprising uh, if they usually rank over 5,000 points they get 6,000 so pretty good and straightforward game for them China comes up at level 3 level 3 sorry third place uh, pretty good for China I think they had big problem with prestige I'm not sure what happened with them uh, industrial power is kind of good military power is kind of good I very strong China still uh, they were able to get a couple of people in their sphere of influence which is a bit surprising usually China is not able to get anywhere once they become a great power but now you know they got the Daviet, Daynam, however you call it territories as well as couples fairlings so good game for China too uh, let's see Austria yeah Austria got Bavaria in this sphere and they have very good uh, industrial power but military hmm, not so much uh, 2000 point I believe that's very good for Austria they didn't fall to become Austria Hungaria or even just split millions of states they successfully kept Austria uh, good pre good prestige good industry good military well kind of good military actually very bad military 118 as I said I hope they just got out of a war but otherwise seems like a pretty good game for them just to still be there Japan Japan has massive military seriously that's crazy crazy military score but they have such terrible industrial and uh, prestige if they, they fix that and got like a few thousand boat they will probably be ranking uh, at least number three maybe very close to ranking with these two guys uh, if they start and had a good industry I don't know what happened to their industrial four four I, I really don't understand what happened to China Japan there sorry not China Japan uh, very bad game for that I must say they have very great military score but industrial that's not believable it, it sucks it's really bad okay so let's go on to Netherlands in the fifth position uh, pretty straightforward 1914 score it's very good for Netherlands they had big huge chunk of lands colonized as well as Belgium and uh, some part of France so very very great game on parts from Netherlands and now we have North German Federation uh, they got uh, I think they had a hard time seriously they have pretty so so scores they they will they didn't come over the top uh, never really developed the industrialization I think everybody just hammered them down to make sure they they don't do anything of their life so kind of sad for them uh, they could have a much better game but no it seems like North Germany it wasn't your game 
and last but not least of the great power we have France and France fascist dictatorship poor poor military press it's very bad France really lost this game it, it's almost a mystery how they kept their uh, position as great power but very terrible game on France they did almost no colonization they only captured part of Algeria uh, they lost a lot of territories they did actually capture a part of Catalonia so that makes up for that but no a very poor game on part of France so let's see who follows up so we have the Russian Empire at ninth place uh, as I said they, they did kind of good they, they did actually a very normal game for for what it is uh, no big surprise they have a very respectable score just barely under France almost into the great power territory but uh, the population is actually quite surprising only 22,000 for real um, and in the US well well kind of makes sense I guess but I'm pretty sure they usually have a higher population not really sure what happened to you Russia but uh, at least you're not the Soviet Union that's that's uh, the consolation price I believe and then we have Brazil following up. Brazil, very good game, uh, 10 position, pretty good score for Brazil. That's actually pretty impressive. They they did conquer some good chunks of land, so good game on their part. We have Italy coming up. Uh, Italy did have some downfalls, but uh, they have pretty standard points for Italy. Uh, seems like a pretty normal game from them. They probably should have uh, hit harder on France although Austria was there but uh, yeah they were a bit sandwiched between both of them well at least they got some good score 11 position not too bad it's actually pretty normal for Italy a pretty a straightforward game and we have Canada who's uh, a secondary power satellite of the UK a pretty standard game they have a relatively good score nothing impressive but uh, generally, if you have Canada and you get to secondary power, yeah, it's it's good, very good. And after we have Sweden, Sweden with uh, poor military score as usual, right? Uh, okay, industry and okay prestige, yeah, another normal game for another country. Ottoman Empire, actually number fourteen, they they had a good game just for the fact that they still exist. Let's go see them. Yeah, they lost to us. Oh, they actually captured some parts of uh, Greece. So yeah, they really had a good game. Uh, nothing impressive, but uh, they played pretty well. They're still there, and uh, that's very good. And then we have Colombia, who did an excessively good job. Seriously, uh, they can cast a whole a large swath of South Africa, South America. Sorry. Uh, very good. I'm almost surprised they didn't form Grand Colombia, but uh, still, they did very good. And then we have Prussia. <laughs> Can you believe that? A little small state in the middle of Europe ending number 16. Oh, life is weird for some people. So let's just see quickly. We have Spain, Bavaria, Sardinia, Australia, Mexico, Persia, and uh, smaller countries. And we actually. Yeah, I've noticed that earlier. I didn't spoke about it, but uh, Romania did form. So we had both Wallachia and Moldavia. Uh, somebody, I believe, probably Wallachia conquered over here, uh, Moldavia, and just next them and built Romania, which is pretty rare to see. Pretty rare for it to happen by itself. So good game on part of Romania, of course, uh, since they're pretty much always forming late, they don't have stand much chance as, as to becoming great power or even secondary power, so we'll give them that, they did good, uh, otherwise is there any big, big, big surprise, uh, we still have Arabia, big surprise for it to pop up. But otherwise, no, it's a pretty straight standard game for the rest of the countries. Uh, the big loser is France, big winners, UK and US. And uh, 
that was it. Hundred years, the world changed face so much, and uh, just thinking that if that would have been the actual history, I think we'll be in a completely different place. This is Edgy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, a share, and a comment. And you can also subscribe to not miss a single video. Thank you. Have a nice night.